and the Figaro Club. Ago, if you had a bit of bother, you never dreamt of going to call. Kid got up to mischief, quick cuff round the ear hole, and no copper knocking on your door after. You got justice your own way, with your own hands. And if it was some little little and needed sorting out, bet your bottom dollar everyone be left laughing like a drain. Home. Oh, what a wonderful old fashioned word. It still meant something special back in those far-off days of the Figaro Club. Home, where we belonged and were likely to stay for more than five minutes at a time. Home, where you kept your stuff, each man in his Eden being the kind of monarch he chose to be. I'm in the mood for love, simply because... Oh, nay, lad. Not but a dream. Oh, oh. oh test plumbing. <laughs> These, eh, Posty? I keep telling them I don't want to join, but will they listen? <laughs> Nay. Hey. Oh, morning, Mr. Perkins. Would you like a banger? No, I would not. Now, listen here. I've been having a word about you in very high places. Oh, that's nice of you, Mr. Perkins. In the town hall to the sanitary inspector. Oh, have you put in a good word for me? Far from it. As clerk of the works, I've been having a go at him about this lot. What lot? This, you, living like a rat in a pipe. That's a very clean pipe, is that? No toilet facilities. Five and a half acres of toilet facilities. What, decent people coming to view? Ugh, utter eyesore. I saw. Who does he think he is, this sanitary inspector? The new mayor, that's who. It's him what's planning to make this town more clean and tidy, and it's me what's going to help him do it. So you just get this straight. You are to shift this bleeding pipe. What? You were out of sight by the tip. By bloody tip? Not on your Nelly. That's loss of amenities, that is, and you know it. There's no outlook. Make your mind up. Move or be moved. But this is me home. I know my rights. Move or be moved. There. I've uttered. Not goblin little Caesar. He wants tar and feathering. Steady on, Ned. What's up? All this. Oh, what, Ned? Me old homestead, me spread, me hacienda. Blimey, Ned. You look like all your rabbits are dying. Shut up, Nimrod. This looks serious. Perkins says I have to move house and home. Whatever for? You're not doing nobody no harm? Because there's no toilet facilities or something. Because I'm always on view when, when I have a piddle. I know me. Me old pipe might... Be a bit shabby after all these years, but it ain't an eyesore yet. Of course it ain't. Anyway, he says if I don't move, he'll have me move to, to yon tip over there. No. No, no, don't you fret, old lad. We won't let that happen, no. will we? No. No. No, I can't keep an eye on me property now that me and young Nimrod's working on to the site. The moment my back's turned... Nah, mate, he wouldn't pull a stroke like that. Not with us here. Keeping a weather, eh? Oh, throttle him. Squeezes Adam's apple till it turns to cider. 
Your mates look after you. Now, you and Nimrod had better wriggle on down that other site. Lose half hour, else. Oh, why? Bring that barrow of tools, Nimrod. There he goes, the poor man's Napoleon. A couple of minutes' walk and his lordship has to drive. The great I am. Important now, isn't it? Gaffer on two sites at once. Two sites? We're only hooking these onto main drains, cos they're not about to spit and gob from new houses. Got to have a second site office, though, hasn't he? A mansion in the country. Stains to reason. There always has to be as many gaffers as blokes to do the work. Wouldn't mind betting on Noah's Ark. The poor mush going round with a bucket and shovel behind the elephants had some jumped up little Noel telling him how it ought to be done. That's one thing never has changed in human nature. A little bit of authority in your ordinary foreman thinks he's Ivan the Terrible. Hmm. If them joints are tight, my backside's a begonia. It's a good job you two wasn't on the pyramids. Nicholas Dwarf do better with a pair of tweezers. Blimey, Mr. Perkins, be fair. We have got all this lot done with just the two of us, oh. and it ain't piecework neither. Lip, Sonny. Well, we made a fair show, considering. Aye, grounds as hard as the obs of hell. Shed your walls to keep up with. I've given my personal guarantee to the new mayor that these ten houses get linked to the new main drains. Not when you think you're good and ready, but according to the master plan. This trench to finish, there's a great man all yet to dig. It'll get done. Yes. Yeah. A great deal depends on it, and I'm not having the locks of you to putting the kibosh on it. I said it'll get done. But it better be, that's all. Well, I can't stand here forever watching two wax work, I've got another site to supervise, so get stuck in. Uh, One thing about it. Bit of hard graft. Keeps you warm. Right. As for me, I'd rather freeze to death. Come on, let's get out and have a shiver. Right, lad. How do, Herbie? How do, Blimey, didn't that hoot then? Right. Oh. Do you want me doing that much longer, eh, Herbie? After we get them trenches out. That's <laughs> right. You won't be sorry to see the back of that old gully wagon, will you? God, I wouldn't want to be dabbling in old squit every day of my life. It might be old squit to you, son. But it's bread and butter to me. Ah, oh, well. Council will find you plenty to do. That's not it, though. Specialist, me. I mean, look at all the love and care I've put into keeping me tubes clean over the years. Perkins wants me to report as soon as I finish this. It's the town hall on the blur, he says. <laughs> they want you for an emergency job with a jib crane. Better go and see what it's all about, I suppose. Ta-ta! Oh, well, come on, Nimrod. Better take out another spoonful before old Shag Nasty gets back. The trouble is, with your little Jack in office, the minute he gets that bee in his bonnet, you can bet your last brass farthing that some poor summer so will soon get lumber with the horrible job of putting his schemes into practice. Just 
tell me I'm not seeing things. Over there. Well, I'll be. It's near this house. Ah, where's? Hey, hey! Kiddywinks. Uh, a strangler with his own gullies. Oh, swing for that snout. Let me out, Tom. Oh, no, I can't buy your time. What's the same surprise at you, Irby? Aye, who side you on these days? He's drowning his own gully. You think that's you did, Herbie? Oh, bloody hell. I feel terrible. All right, Herbie. We can see how you was fixed. Can't blame you. Yeah, but what's old Ned gonna say? Got his nose back. Look. My house. My home. My, my traps. All to buggery. Blimey, Jim. Happened before we could lift a finger, Ned. Honest. Irby! Can't blame him, son. Perkins threatened him with a bullet. Only one villain in this piece. <laughs> Effing Perkins. I call on Figaro. Right. One call on Figaro. Every, Every bugger call, call on Figaro. Nobody to boss you about once you got out of your working clothes. All the aggravation, the whole stack of niggles you'd had to endure since breakfast time, you put them out of your mind. It was marvellous, breathing the air of freedom like kids let loose from school, and a lovely long evening of refreshment stretching ahead. Six o'clock was magic. Shops all shut, your tea inside you, clean shirt on, and then the sound of bolts being drawn at the door of club and pub and the gush of your favourite liquid. You quench your thirst, you quench your anger, all in one go. Hi, Hello, Sam. All right? Still no sign of him. Expect him to come over once he gets his things squared up. It's enough to make you... Boiled bleed. I offered to help him, but he wouldn't let me. Poor old Ned. Yeah, seen this in the paper. Royal tournament. Picture of the Navy team. Look, in the gun carriage. Shit up, then. Dismantle. Up and over that barrier with a block and tackle. Quicker than you could say knife. Hey, only a handful of blokes. Yeah, it's teamwork, isn't it? I didn't tell you, did I? I was reserved one year for the Matlow team. Honest, Jim. Mm -hmm. Against the Marines. Them pongos, yeah. Hello. Oh, lads. All right, then, lads. Oh, there you are, then. Okay, Ned. How do you all? All right, all right. All present and correct, lads. Yeah. Pints for Herbie oh. and Ned. Don't one for yourself, Harry. Nip up and get them, young son. In some summers, up at the site, then, Jim. Right, old mess up. Got it sorted, Ned. Aye. Herbie, give me an. Wicked. I just had a frame of snooker with the steward up at the club. You missed a high and mighty Perkins at the next table, pithering about like a blue ass fly. With that stupid article, Alderman Potts, your sanitary inspector. 
There's another one who don't know how fancy himself since he got made up to mayor. Cheers in, Jim. Oh. Cheers, Harry. Anyway, yeah. I heard them going on about what they done to you, Ned. Alderman bloody pots. I don't know what this town's coming to. A useless article like that for mayor. All he knows about his bald cocks and lavy pants. <laughs> don't go to that poxy club just for the sake of snooker, do they? No, mate. Feathering their nest. Yeah, scratching each other's backs. Take us thieves, the lot of them. Worse than the Masons, I reckon. Here. You know them main drains you're digging? Aye. Them two? Only fixing up an official opening ceremony. God, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> stupid <laughs> bomb bars. Pot's first function as mayor. True as I'm standing here. Mayoral car, chain of office, pink ribbons, official speech is the lot. <laughs> hey, hey, all that for our bit of old Nimrod. <laughs> this about right, says Potts. And it'd be a good mark for you up at the town hall. <laughs> what a performance. <laughs> yeah. I've never have had anything so daft in all my life. I mean, that's where our race is going. Down the drain. Teamwork was what got things done. It needed teamwork to win the gun carriage race at the Royal Tournament, and it was teamwork that won the Battle of Trafalgar. Everybody knew that. But what it took was for each man jack in the team to know the part he had to play, so that victory would be certain and glorious, with the enemy put to rout. Everybody had to muck in, and every eye had to gleam with deadly efficiency. <laughs> We'd given away the Empire. The days of the Raj were gone. But the spirit that had made Britain great lived on. There was still the kind of Englishman who valued pomp and splendour, gorgeous ceremonial, protocol, meticulous, umpety poo. Indeed, there's nothing bleeding better go wrong. It is indeed a single, single honour. Get this one right out of me, old lad. Be a feather in your cap. Well, I Ned. It's got yourself a new job. Castrating. <laughs> Been on the receiving end, more like. <laughs> now, listen here, you two. May our rural party be here any minute now. Gentlemen of the press be taking some pictures and some important toffs and their good lady wives is coming. So you two better be on your best behaviour. Hats off and say Sarah Madam if you've spoken to, understand? Oh, yes, Mr Perkins. Of course, Mr Perkins.
Welcome, Mr. Mayor, Tony. Shall I call you, sir? Madam Mayoress, it is indeed a single honour, here, here. single honour, that as your first civic duty, you should choose to come here, 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 here we are again, as happy as, as can be, all oh, good friends and jolly good company. This happy and uh, good-natured occasion <laughs> to officially declare open these important new works of sanitation. Thank you very much. And here's your scissors. How do Ned? How do Herbie? <laughs> It's not my intention to delay our proceedings here this afternoon with a long speech. Good for you, Governor. However, my unknown. As your chief sanitary inspector. And a nice big chain to prove it. Look, I say, do you mind? No, your worship, I don't mind. You're the governor, I mean to say. If you can't do as you please, what with you being mayor and all, then I'm sure I don't know who can. Thank you. That's right. It stands to reason, doesn't it? I mean to say, the mayor's the number one kitty, Eddie. <laughs> Will you both please be quiet? Shh. As your chief sanitary inspector and first citizen, it behoves me to say a few words on this particularly appropriate occasion. Right. Ever since I was a lad at the tech, it has been my dream, nay, my vision, that this town should enter a golden new age in the domain of sewage, of public health and sanitation. Nothing, my friends, shall stand in the way of my sewage, my sewage proposals during my term in office. When Mr. Perkins here, our excellent clerk of works, made it known to me that he too supported me to the hilt in these endeavours, and when he took immediate steps to tidy up some of the more unsavoury corners within our boundaries, I found it not only incumbent upon me, but also a genuine pleasure to accept his thoughtful in invitation to declare these main drains well and truly open. And so, it only remains for me to cut this ribbon, and as you would expect me to, ladies and gentlemen, make my official inspection of this quite splendid manhole, accompanied by Mr. Perkins, the overseer of the works. Oh. <laughs> I've, uh, I've uh, not <laughs> yet been made soft by the great dignity and honor of my office. <laughs> Still quite a practical chap there. <laughs> I'm right behind you, your lordship. <laughs>
Shay. Oh, dear, Mr. Mayor. Here you are, sir. Oh, please, please, come on. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Perkins, this is an outrage. Don't expect any more favors from me after this. You couldn't organize a PU in a flaming brewery. <laughs> Mind that going off your face, Tompkins. Well, tomorrow I'll be you on the gully wagon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm full of apologies. I mean, I don't know really how it happened, sir. Spot of bother there, Mr. Perkins. Just you get me up to that other side. Come on, quick. Oh, no, who's going to talk on this? Oh, I know. Right. Lawsuits on them. Oh, they won't know what's in them, they won't. I'm gonna make them pay for a new car for a kickoff. Where are they? Turned out well then, Mr. Perkins? <laughs> yeah, the shy talk of the righteous could always be trusted to drop his well chosen load. Once the pompous little squirts had dropped theirs. Because that's how we made it happen before the world turned lax and sour. <laughs> Thank you. 